Okay, so Kevin Hart's little drama in car situation is getting more and more and more and more crazy by the minute. Because everybody's got a lawyer now. He's got one. The two people who were in the car got one. She in the back seat says she wasn't hurt all that bad. Just the regular stuff, you know. Sore bones and muscles after a car wreck. The guy in the front had to be airlifted, apparently, to the hospital. Kevin walked home. This is according to these stories, right? But there is something else there. It just hasn't come out yet. But what they're dealing with right now is that Kevin's car did not have modern safety features. Airbags and whatnot and whatnot. It said safety harness. Now, do they mean seat belt? I don't know what a safety harness is, and I didn't look it up, but they said it did not have a safety harness. And... Can you have a car without a seatbelt? Because isn't that against the law everywhere now? Click it or ticket. Yeah, I don't have those campaigns where you are. So, anyway, he's now being sued. Well, he is gearing up for the lawsuit. There is, it's coming. Everybody's got a lawyer now. The, the two people in the car and Kevin have all got lawyers because his car was not road safety or road safe. And the article I was reading said the person went to a couple of like dealerships that deal with these high end cars. And these dealerships, they asked 10 of them, only one said that they would ever renovate a car and not put those things in there. If it's at the request, because Kevin requested that this stuff not be done to the car. Cause he's trying to want to keep it in its condition. So he didn't want airbags, even though you need some airbags in your car, sir. But these nine establishments says they would never have reno renovated his car and not put those safety features in place. Only one person said, yeah, we'd put them in there. I mean, you do what you do. It's your car. If you want to crash into a wall and die because you have no seatbelt, no airbags, go ahead. But let's see. What is going to happen in this case here? King of Cups. I'm not sure who that is. Might be Kevin. But there's a Knight of Cups here. And then a Ten of Swords. So there is a big loss coming. Um, this might be Kevin, the person who speaks, you know, whose, whose words, I think, um, are bigger than his actions at most points. Yeah, this is between three people, and it is indeed going to go south. Um, be prepared for the lawsuits. Yeah, there is the fighting, the bickering, the Five of Wands. And the hair offense. Now we're dealing with establishments. Um, this is also because this is like typical. It's it's conformity. The hair offense. It's it's all these different things. And with the three of swords and the hair offense, it just seems to be that there's going to there's going to be a breakdown in the friendship. And it's because money is now involved. Here's the interesting thing. Kevin Hart once said, like I said, his, his words do speak a lot bigger than his actions. But he once said that the friends in his life all get to push the button once. What he meant by that, because he was telling this story to um, the Breakfast Club, what he was meaning by that was all of his friends get to ask him for big sums of money or for some sum of money to do something they want to do. All of them. And so he says, uh, Charlemagne asked him, well, what is the biggest button somebody pushed? He said 30000 So somebody got $30,000 from him. So what I'm confused with right now, we're not really confused, but, you know, is why not just pay these people's medical bills and give them a little change on the side to do whatever it is they want to do? You've done 850,000 movies and comedy specials and 
animated this. You've got your own shoe line and your own exercise line and your own hairstyle line and your own doggy line. You make your own dogs. You have everything. So you got, I'm just, I'm counting your money. You shouldn't do that to people, but I'm counting your money. You got enough money to say, hey, here, here, you know, let's, let's call this over and done with. Sign this. But no, now we got the bickering and fighting, and then we have the break with tradition. So can't help but go this route. The Ace of Swords. It's the fear. So we now are fearing the Sword of Truth. Why? Going to find out something else is going on? Four Swords. Everybody's on a bit of a retreat right now. Um, he's shying from the public light, too. Two of Cups. The hopes is for cooperation. And your outcome is the Nine of Wands. It's going to be an uphill battle, which means you're going to be back in the news. So yeah, this is going to be a legal fight. Why didn't you just give them money and have them just go about their business? I don't know. Uh, for the same reason why there is something else in the story that ain't nobody finding out yet. We shall see. <laughs>